Lions quarterback Jared Goff has just signed a four-year, $212 million contract extension. This is a big reward from the Lions for leading them through one of the best seasons in their history last year. Jared Goff has truly turned the franchise around. With a record of 22 wins and eight losses as a starter, he's proven himself as one of the top quarterbacks in football. The city of Detroit is buzzing with chants of Jared Goff, Jared Goff as the team hosts and wins playoff games. Last year, they reached the NFC Championship game, and it's clear that Detroit is getting it right. Alongside Goff, stars like Amon Ra St. Brown and Pine Sewell have also been signed, showing a strong commitment to building a winning team. The Lions are putting together an impressive offseason, making key additions on both offense and defense. Even though they were already good last season, I believe they have the potential to be even better in the upcoming season. But before we dive into why I think that, if you love Detroit Lions content, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos for the rest of this offseason. Now back to the Lions. The team entered last season with high expectations after a strong finish the year before, and they certainly lived up to them, maybe even exceeded them. Most people expected the Lions to make the playoffs and perhaps lose in the first or second round. However, they defied those expectations by winning both the first and second rounds, making it to the NFC Championship game. Many doubted their chances against the 49 ERs, predicting a blowout loss. But the Lions put up a strong fight and had a real chance to win that game. If they replayed that match 10 times, it could easily split half and half in terms of who would win. Unfortunately, the Lions faltered towards the end and couldn't hold on to their lead, which was disappointing. That's why the Lions needed to focus on this offseason to improve their team and make sure they don't fall short again in the future. And I think they've done just that. Let's first talk about the defense, which needed the most attention, especially against the pass. The Lions' secondary struggled last year, and losing Cam Sutton didn't help. They had to make it a priority to bring in new talent to avoid getting worse. The first big move they made was trading for Carlton Davis, a veteran cornerback from the Buccaneers. Davis, who has a Super Bowl win under his belt, has consistently played great football. He's expected to be the Lions' number one cornerback and, at 27 years old, is still in his prime. This move alone is a significant upgrade from last year. But they didn't stop there. The Lions made improving their secondary a top priority in the draft. They traded up in the first round to get Terry and Arnold and then picked Enos Rakestraw Jr. with the 61st pick in the second round. Both of these players are expected to become strong NFL cornerbacks quickly. Terry and Arnold is a physical player with great size who proved himself at Alabama by playing against top college receivers. He excels in both man and zone coverage and is known for his physicality and tackling skills, which the Lions value highly. Enos Rakestraw Jr. brings a similar style. He's tough, likes to talk trash, and backs it up with solid physical play and good tackling. He fits perfectly into the Lions' defensive culture. With these additions, the Lions' defense looks set to improve significantly, which should help them avoid the kind of late-game collapses they experienced last season. Terry and Arnold is versatile, excelling in man coverage and solid in zone coverage. The Lions can use him in various ways, making their cornerback group, which includes Carlton Davis, Terry and Arnold, and Enos Rakestraw Jr., look really strong. Plus, they added Ike Robertson on a two-year deal, rounding out a cornerback room that could be one of the best in the league. With Brian Branch and Kirby Joseph already solid at safety, the Lions have a shot at having one of the best pass defenses in the NFL. But it's not just the secondary that's improved. The defensive line, already strong, got even better this offseason. Aiden Hutchinson is heading into his third year after a great season and Aleem McNeil also had a standout year. Adding DJ Reader and Marcus Davenport to this mix boosts an already formidable unit. 
Last year, the Lions had one of the best run defenses in the NFL. With these new additions, not only will their run defense stay strong, but their pass rush will be even more effective. A strong pass rush makes the entire defense better, and with a secondary that can lock down most teams, opposing offenses will struggle against them. Despite the defensive improvements, a team needs a strong offense to be a Super Bowl contender, and the Detroit Lions have just that. They didn't need to make many moves this offseason on offense because they were already one of the best in the NFL. Keeping offensive coordinator Ben Johnson guarantees they'll remain at the top. Jared Goff, often underestimated, consistently plays well year after year. He may not be the most athletic quarterback, but he efficiently runs the offense, which is crucial. With all the talent around him, this offense is poised to thrive. The backbone of the Lions' offense is their offensive line and rushing attack. Last season, when these two were in sync, the offense was at its best. The offensive line remains largely unchanged, except for adding Kevin Zeitler at right guard, which is at least an even swap, if not an upgrade. This line will once again be one of the best in the NFL. In the running back room, David Montgomery and Jamir Gibbs both had great seasons last year. Montgomery is the power back for short yardage situations, while Gibbs provides explosive plays. Expect Gibbs' usage to increase this season after his impressive performance last year. We're talking about a player who nearly ran for 1,000 yards on just 182 carries. That's an average of almost 5 yards per touch, showing that he deserves more opportunities. While you don't want to overload him and risk injury, increasing his touches to 200, 220 could make the offense even more potent. If the running game is strong, it will make the entire offense incredibly dangerous. The passing attack, featuring Amon Ra St. Brown, Jamison Williams, and Sam Laporta, will be tough for any defense to handle. This offense is poised to be a top 10 unit in football again this year. The key difference between this year and last is the defense. I believe they will also rank in the top 10 in the NFL. With both a powerful offense and a strong defense, this team is set to make a significant playoff push. They have a real shot at going all the way and winning the Super Bowl.